Iran made a deal with Chavez and the Russians for drugs and guns. Now opium and cocaine run on parallel tracks to America's vast population of drug users and has corrupted much of Central America and Mexico too. Is it our cure? Perhaps. Call it a spiritual renovation, not revolution. And what is it? It is Pope Francis and President Trump reaching an accord like St. John Paul and President Reagan did in consecrating Russia from the throes of communism in 1987. How? By making a religious pilgrimage to San Paulo, Brazil, where the largest temple in South America was built when Pope Francis was being chosen for Pope. It is the Temple of Solomon built to the Son of David and is without denominational markings. It is a historic temple that calls Jesus the Ark of the Covenant for the New World. It speaks to all religions except Islam and Judaism because it is an emblem to the New World as a born-again Christian continent. Imagine people in the Americas actually thinking of a symbol of Christ that is not attached to Jerusalem, Rome, or Mecca. Imagine that. Intermission. Jesus Christ is the Ark of the Covenant between God and man. It's not a woman with pom-poms or a box full of magical portions. you to say that President Trump and Pope Francis can do what St. John Paul and Ronald Reagan did in saving America? What qualifies you? Well, here's the answer. Uh, excuse me, is this the uh, 7th Street Bicycle uh, Trail? 7th Street Central Washington. Oh, from Central Washington. Over to the DeWitts. Oh, and the DeWitts is, uh, oh, the DeWitts Cafe. DeWitts Cafe. Oh, for the, uh, now it's a kind of a bicycle trail cafe. So, here's the bike trail cafe in 2017, trying desperately to reopen after drug addict renters robbed and destroyed it. But, the legal weed crackers ruled the roost, and it was sold. And so here it is today, as an omen for your future. Venezuela. Venezuela was also beautiful in its day back in 2003. Then came Obama with Reverend Wright, sinking with Chavez for a totalitarian welfare state where nobody had to work. The government pays it all. Now, 70% of the people, 70? Yes, 70% 70 of the people are starving and eating cats, dogs, and flamingos. Oh, she and I tried to make a difference, but Chavez already had a plan for Venezuela with a bus driver for the new president. So, like an oracle speaking omens, how much of their future will soon be yours? What Obama did to America, the same thing that the Rat Pack did to Cuba, 
There was no reason why Cuba had to be a Bolivar revolution with Che and Castro. It could have been a good neighbor. So, the final lesson of Venezuela is not something we can learn from. That's all past tense. It's only a question now is, how much of an omen does that stand for America as we are now as a nation and the future that is coming? 9-11 was a planned demolition. 9-11 9-11 was a planned demolition like the Cuban Missile Crisis. And how did the moon rover ever fit into the 60s space capsule? Maria's discharged captain and colonel uncles tried to explain, and I think I understood, by who it was all done. But the question remains, why? Maduro now put the military, today in 2017 in charge of the food bank and yes they have voter IDs but not to see if you are a legal resident but to see if you voted for them before you are fed your rice and beans so we ask if there is a spiritual presence behind all these actions obviously the spirit here as we see was a planned demolition but from what spirit what is the spirit Is Venezuela becoming a vision for America's future?